What's going on guys? Dave here with another Jeep install and today I'll be slapping on this Mopar steel bumper on my Luna. Also doing this upgrade because I want to also add a winch. So I also got a worn winch plate to pair these guys up together. Now there's a Jeep event happening at SPI May 21st. I unfortunately missed out last year and this year I'm definitely gonna make it. So the race is on. Let's see if I can build up my Luna a bit more for this event and see you there. Heck yeah, man. I like the simple sleek design of this bumper. All the other bumpers seem too, like too rigid, like it didn't follow the lines of the Jeep as much as I wanted to. And the ones that did just cost either just as expensive or even more. So I'd rather just keep something OEM, simple and straightforward. All right guys, now before attempting such an upgrade, make sure to know what bumper you have. From what I understand, if you don't have a Rubicon and you don't know you have a Rubicon steel bumper, you're gonna have a plastic one. I thought this was just like a plastic shield over like a, at least some sort of steely, but nope, all plastic. So check that out. Second, if you're upgrading from plastic to steel bumper, you're also gonna need a couple tools such as Mopar's rib nuts, cause Apparently, this bumper does not have the appropriate attachments if you want to add a winch and winch plate to it real quick. So you're going to need that as well as a type of nutsert tool to get those nice and sturdy in there. And finally, a torque wrench. This I didn't have, but I guess it's about time to add it to my collection. So. Let's get to it. All right, guys, first things first, let's remove this mud guard. <laughs> A little more force then. I had anticipated, but whatever. Woo! Woo! There you have it, folks. My mud guard has been removed. Probably destroyed. All right, guys, once you're done removing the mud guard, you're gonna come over here on the back side and start removing these little tabs right here. They're lined all around the bumper. So, yep, let's get to it. All right, guys, now with the components exposed, you want to go ahead also disconnect your fog lights first before you, of course, attempt to remove the bumper. So that's gonna be these switches right here. And it should just be like a simple press, release, and unlatch. All right, guys, just popped it right out. It was a little awkward. That's why I didn't get the video. But yes, just press that down and this releases. Now it's time to remove the bolts that are holding on the bumper. So there's four on both um, latch points. So you're going to need a 18 mil ratchet to take those off. Let's get to it. Let's see. Nice and loose. Yep. Ah. <laughs> nice and loose. I'll loosen them on first, then take them off. Now, Trail Recon Brad was right. You want an extension for this. Because <laughs> the mid ones are in here. So, yeah, you, you need it. Oh, got it. 
Almost dropped it, but didn't. Okay, woo! Front bumper is off. Damn, for being a plastic bumper, this is this is a little heavy. It does look like it's aluminum framed. Check it out, guys. before I get ahead of myself we do have a winch to keep in mind so now it's time to get the worn winch plate out and about and figure that out in any case yes I'm pairing this worn bracket with this super winch it's gonna look hella dope on the steel bumper and the color scheme is just gonna flow Fight third and grind build up, you fight us. What's up? All right, guys. So, if you have the plastic bumper, this is the piece that you have. And I think the Rubicons don't have this. Instead, they have their skid plate that have special brackets here. So for us, we're gonna need those nuts to be able to anchor that there. So, yeah. Big pain, but heads up, cause man, I want to steal bumper too. Just remove the bar. Now it's time to start mounting the worn winch bracket. Now here's the part where you're gonna need those specific tools, cause you're gonna need to mount two brackets like so, one here, one over there. Now, the problem is mounting this bracket here, you only have these slots. If you have a Sahara or package below, you're just gonna have these empty holes. All right guys, got the nutter tool primed. So now all you're gonna do is take your rib nut, screw it onto here nice and primed then you're just gonna insert it and BAM <sighs> heck yeah alright sweet deal as you can see nice and tight Woo! now i just realized worn bracket says to use the same hardware that's on your jeep so now i'm missing bolts another trip to lowe's oh damn All right guys, update. Just mounted the winch plate frame. Now for my winch of choice, I went and chose a super winch, 10,000. So we got the super winch, paper, wired remote, accessory, Hook. I'll leave that there. Line and hardware. And bam! Look at that beauty. Ah, oh, baby. Hella clean. All right, so. It's set to mount. Oh, this is the wireless remote. Alright. 
go in with the cable first one, and then rotate it. Yes! Woo! You genius, bro. Yeah, I'll give it a nice little B roll. Alright guys, now that winch is in place, it's time to prepare the steel bumper to get bolted onto the frame. And to accommodate the winch, I need to take out the license plate here and this top plate over here as well. So let's get to it. Yeah, one plate done. Mm. I'm in. Yeah. Ooh, just there, man. There we go. Please tell me that's in. I, I can't tell from this side. I don't know how to look this side. I think it is though. Woo! My gosh, I'm dripping. All right, guys. Time to bolt on the bumper to 67 foot-pounds of torques. Yep, that's it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Woo! Hell yeah, baby. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Woo! Now I need to add the little winch fair lead. And that's pretty much it. And I think I'm going to figure out the wiring later. <laughs> So there you have it, finally another upgrade ready to suit my Jeep up for awesome explorations around the nation. Hell yeah! <laughs> And looks like I'm meeting my deadline for the Jeep event at SPI. So if you're going, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know where you're going to be at. What's the name of your Jeep? See you there. Dave out. All right, one last check. I did notice comments on people saying they're having issues with the fog lights of the steel bumper after their upgrade. So hopefully I have no issues. We'll see. So...